السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ ہم ڈسکس کر رہے تھے کہ نینو پارٹیکل گرین سنتھسز روٹ سے گرین سنتھسز وے سے کیسے ہم پریپیئر کرتے ہیں اس میں ہم نے دیکھا تھا کہ دیر آر تھری مین پروسیجرز مین دیر آر تھری ویز تھرو وچ یو کین فیبریکیٹ یو کین سنتھسائز میٹل آر میٹیلک آکسائڈ نینو پارٹیکل دا سینکڈ دا فسٹ ون واز بائی یوزنگ اے پلانٹ ایکسٹریکٹ ہاؤ وی کین پریپیئر metal or metallic oxide nanoparticles we have discussed this uh, process in detail about uh, three to four lectures are already uploaded in our this youtube channel however now today we are going to discuss about uh, the synthesis of uh, nanoparticle metallic nanoparticle by using enzymes or uh, microorganisms basically uh, the micro uh, organism for for instance bacteria fungi yeast etc are utilized for the fabrication or synthesis of nanoparticle here we can see that microbial synthesis of nanoparticle in is a green chemistry a green way to synthesize uh, metallic nanoparticles that interconnects the field of uh, nanotechnology and microbial biotechnology basically this procedure this way of synthesis nanoparticle uh, connect or bridge the two main Uh, technologies which are nanotechnology and microbial technology because in this process we are uh, we basically synthesize the nanoparticles by utilizing microbial entity microbial um, definition of our microorganism are utilized that's why we can say that it is a uh, in one way basically this is really helpful to connect these two major uh, technologies Uh, and secondly this is a bottom up approach as you know that uh, we have a basic uh, two major divisions of uh, synthesizing nanoparticle one of them is uh, a top down approach and the second one is bottom up approach uh, preparing nanoparticle through this way uh, through microorganism is a bottom up approach and nanoparticle formation occur due to the reduction reaction of or oxidation of metallic ion we will uh, when we discuss about the mechanism of fabrication or synthesis of nanoparticle we will see that how this reduction take place and uh, uh, how these metallic nano uh, metallic ion basically uh, reduce in in the micro uh, organ uh, in an environment where microorganisms are present particularly today we uh, discuss about the presence of bacteria and how these bacteria are utilized for the reduction of these metallic ion nanoparticle formation can be either uh, extracellular or intracellular depending upon the microorganisms uh, uh, for instance if uh, if it is a uh, uh, if we are reducing these uh, through bacteria or um, fungi or yeast what kind of microorganism is present this will define that uh, whether the these nanoparticle formation is extracellular or intracellular many bacteria fungi and plants have the ability to synthesize metallic nanoparticles and uh, all have their own disadvantages and uh, uh, disadvantages and advantages we have uh, seen how these uh, plants are plant extract are utilized for the fabrication of nanoparticles today we will look into that uh, how the silver nanoparticle are fabricated by the utilization of uh, Uh, by the utilization of uh, bacteria or microorganism in this slide we will look into the uh, synthesis of silver nanoparticle by bacteria and particularly we will discuss about the mechanism behind this uh, whole procedure for instance uh, here you are seeing basically uh, we have enzyme that are basically obtained from uh, some kind of microorganism these enzymes are utilized for the reduction of uh, these metallic ion um, the question arises that how we prepare these metallic ion or where we get these metallic ion we we will have a beaker in which we basically prepare a, a s- salt solution of that particular metal Uh, which we are basically focusing to fabricate for instance if this is a uh, silver nanoparticles we are trying or we are preparing a silver nanoparticle then we will dissolve a silver salt into this beaker in water 
when we dissolve this uh, uh, silver salt into this beaker then of course uh, silver is present in the form of silver ion in this beaker and when we add these enzymatic entities or bacteria etc which basically uh, uh, are helpful to reduce this ion these enzymes basically provide uh, one electrons and this electron are gained by this silver ion and at the end of the day due to reduction of these silver ion we will get silver nanoparticle so um, one can say that the main purpose or the main um, aim of these utilizing these microorganism is to provide this uh, one extra electron which is helpful in reduction of silver ion for instance if we are focusing to prepare a gold nanoparticle then of course we will dissolve uh, a gold metal salt into this uh, um, solvent and then uh, it might be possible the microorganism we utilize for the sake of uh, uh, for the sake of reduction of gold ion it might be slightly different from uh, this one uh, however the main mechanism the procedure is um, absolutely same now next moving on we will look into the um, uh, we will look into the advantages and disadvantages of the uh, of this process before that uh, we will read out these points uh, silver nanoparticle prepared were accumulated in periplasmic speed of bacteria and were 36 to 45 nanometer size this bacteria is concentrated aqueous solution of silver nitrate and as I have uh, I have already told you that the salt that we basically dissolve in that particular solvent which is water uh, is a salt of that metal that could be any salt but here we dissolve a silver nitrate and when uh, this silver nitrate is dissolved in that water it uh, basically uh, present in the form of ions silver ion and nitrate and uh, nitrate ions inside the particular solvent and this uh, the uh, after reduction of this silver ion we obtain the silver nanoparticle and the size of these silver nanoparticle is about 200 nanometer similarly many other bacteria species that is not a specific uh, one or two uh, bacteria there is a huge uh, collection of bacterial species which we can utilize for uh, different uh, silver for different metallic nanoparticle synthesis um, here we have a very difficult name of uh, different type of uh, bacterial species you can read it uh, out from uh, this slide next uh, other microorganism like uh, anti antinomicetes viruses fungi uh, and yeast etc are also utilized for nano particle senses this is basically defining the branch of microbial or microorganism utilization of microorganism and these are the different microorganism that we can utilize for the reduction of uh, metallic ion moving on then uh, next we have will we have a, a s one slide of uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, this process of course the major advantages of green synthesis is, is uh, are that it is a clean process it is non toxic because no chemical species is basically um, g uh, getting out inside the environment uh, whether it is um, atmosphere or uh, uh, water it is biocompatible you can uh, say that and secondly it is eco friendly and uh, one thing it is uh, which is not mentioned here it is a cost effective economical beneficial and safe and sustainable cost effective safe and sustainable bacteria are easy to handle and can be easily manipulated because they are not uh, they are non toxic uh, biocompatible that's why you can say that uh, they are really easy to handle but they have some advantages because one of the major advantages of utilizing bacteria is culturing of microorganism collection of these microorganism are uh, synthesizing the whole um, uh, culturing of this microorganism is a uh, time consuming secondly difficult to have control over size shape and crystallinity of the nanoparticles and thirdly particles are not mono dispersed they have a range of size that's why you can say they are not mono dispersed and rate of production is really slow because it is a uh, time consuming um, this is all from my side today and now in the next, le next lecture we will discuss about the third route 
how we synthesize nanoparticle through gene method. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.